Good morning, everyone. It finally stopped raining after legitimately three days. So I'll walk you down here because we had a ton of washout <clears throat> from the edge of the driveway. I'm gonna have to get this taken care of. So we got, no joke, probably a solid two inches. So it's literally just washed this whole entire area away. The grass is definitely ready to be mowed. It's just too wet. This is all our gravel, guys. All the way across here. And then I'm assuming it went that way. But yeah, it was a ton of rain. We have a drain right back there in the lawn where most of this is supposed to go to. But over the years, things have settled differently and now it kind of just kicks on and goes down the road. But anyways, yeah, we got about two hours here this morning before the rain comes back. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah, he's barely moving. It's chilly. Let's see, maybe we can save him. So we got a truck coming this morning for pickup. Or flex shoots so i got to get them all out there thank you jim in new york nigel in new jersey new york and new jersey so i have to leave here shortly so i have to get these out of the garage because they won't have access we got brandon in michigan and Adam in New York. If only the dogs could help me carry them, huh? They're not heavy. They're, I think the Skags are right around like 15 pound. The Toros are a little bit heavier, but not much. We got Cody in New York and Chase in Tennessee. Man, New York. Thank you guys. You came through strong. We got Heather in Indiana and Cameron in Wisconsin. Justice in Wisconsin and Jeff in Connecticut. Oh, we should probably start a new pile. Let's go ahead and thank Justice in Wisconsin. Did he order a couple? Okay, yeah, Justice has two. So those will be going to the same place. And then we have Jason in Pennsylvania. Very cool. This one is going to Jake in Minnesota. And Jake in Minnesota. And last but not least, this one is going to Ricky in Georgia. Very cool. So great big thank you to each and every one of you. These are on their way. This is Sean, I'm at the location. I'm out front here by the gate. Okay, I'll be right out front and meet you out there. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so we're waiting on the gentleman to come out of this location here to uh, to meet us. Oh, here he is over here, I believe. Are you Keith? No. No, oh, sorry. Keith's supposed to be walking out to meet me. I thought you were Keith. No. <laughs> nice truck, though. Thank you. I love that color. Appreciate it. You would? Your destination is on the right. Because this says no parking here because it's a fire lane. Yeah. They said he would come out, so I'm assuming. I think I'm supposed to be on that side, maybe. Ow. Not back. He says enter on this side, baby. We were just in his way, I think. Are we? Yeah, see you right there. Should I just drive in? Yeah. Oh, Savannah about to get me arrested, guys. For parking right there. Okay. I mean, Keith knows we're coming. 
TQ got me breaking all kinds of rules. I just drove into a secure location without permission. No, 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 no. We have permission. He did not tell me to come through the security gate unannounced. <laughs> Starting this one off wrong. Anyways, here, <laughs> let me let me get on track. So big mulch job, just acquired new land. Yada yada yada. Okay. Got business cards. Those babies in here. There's a gentleman walking up behind us. Is there? Right there. See, guys, we weren't supposed to come in here. Uh, yeah. Was I supposed to come back in here? No, you're fine. You're, okay. You're good, right? My wife getting me in trouble. No, no, this is good <laughs> here. Not, not a problem. Here's a few business cards. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll even exchange with you. I'll give you mine. Awesome. Uh, this is not raining. Information on there. I was hoping to get down here yesterday and man, the rain just would not let up. Yeah, our hardest thing is finding somebody with a driver's license that doesn't have a thousand convictions we can get insured. And then finding somebody that's not on drugs that you would actually want to be around. Yeah, that's the thing, that's one of our hardest issues. You know, we're a federal agency, so there's no, we don't just take this as far as just covering it with mulch right now. That's Okay, the even the rock? Yeah, just right now, I don't know if that's exactly the way we're going to go, but for the purpose of this quote, you want to go with that. So. I think I have everything. I'm going to take a drive back there, get some video and photo, and take your time, we'll be out of here. Take your time as you need and get it, you yep. know, all the information you need. If you need any, any questions, give me a call. I'll Appreciate it. I'll look everything up on satellite, like I said. If I happen to not be able to see something because of trees or maybe the landscape's changed with new buildings or whatever, right. I, I might have to swing back down, but I'll try to get everything I need today. Okay. Yeah, if you need to come back, just give me a heads up that you're here. So yep. I'll let everybody know to expect you to be here. So. Absolutely. We All appreciate right. you. No problem. Take Have a good day. All righty. So I have everything I need here. I wanted to ask for permission to uh, get some photos and video before we went back in here. And we're good to go with that. So uh, first and foremost, huge job, huge job. Uh, some things have washed out, rock areas, so they're looking to just maybe clean it up and do mulch in certain areas up front here where the offices are. Uh, the areas over here, if TQ wants to pan around that have a ton of gravel that haven't washed out, they're gonna leave those just as is, mainly right here about where the tall grasses are right in front of us to the right over to the main entrance uh we're gonna go ahead and mulch that whole area there take out all the weeds uh etc all right guys so we're gonna drive back here real quick this is a federal building uh so with that being said you got to be very careful and very uh you know polite and asking you know before you just do anything you know so i'm gonna come back here there's three total retention ponds two of them were landscaped originally when they did the built the building here uh, so it needs some maintenance. The one is right here to the right in the corner. This one does not need anything. This would just be typical mowing and trimming. <laughs> kind of hard to see, but I'm not really worried about that because there's not much work back there for us to do. A ton of tree beds. I'm gonna park back here real quick just as soon as I get out of the way of everybody and we'll take a walk. So all this is pretty much brand spanking new in the last couple years. All right, so nothing in these center beds other than just pulling some weeds. All the tree rings, they need redone. Uh, they're not really worried about us cutting in a new edge. They just want them cleaned up and new, uh, new mulch put in. So these go all the way around the track. There is a walking track here as well. So we'll take a walk back here. Nothing over there. This is gonna be probably where an extension of the building goes on. So the way we were thinking is this at some point was a, a park and they acquired it when they purchased this location. So this is one of the retention ponds. And I will say not how I would have done, I would not have done mulch around it. Just because, I mean, you can mulch, you know, as far down as you want, but as soon as it fills up, your mulch is gonna run right into the water. So anyways, he just wants it down as close as we can get. 
and what happens happens but you know right here this is a this is a gigantic that's a good sized pond and believe it or not there's another one that i'm going to take you over here in just one second uh, the good thing is is that we can get pretty close so once we come in with the dump truck we could pull right up in here and then we could you know mulch bucket it out the way i would suggest if you were going to do something like this because it is a slope dump at the top and let it roll down the hill as much as you can then obviously have somebody else come in and rake it all out yada 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 so goes all the way back kind of jags around there then comes back out this is big i mean i hope this does it justice for you guys to look at what do you think tq it's big <laughs> right wow it's uh i don't know what you would consider this almost looks like a z i don't know it's kind of like a, a snake it's a snake <laughs> okay somebody lost their ball from the park right here behind us so right here, I'm gonna measure all this with LMN online. Uh, I just, I had to come out and meet the gentleman and uh, take a peek in person before I tried to do all of that. And uh, yeah, that's a lot there. That's, uh, I'm gonna say roughly 25 to 30 yards, roughly. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. So the entire facility here has trees all around it. The main concern is the fence line. So I'll show you that here in one second as well. Now it's a big facility. I, it, like you said, I never knew it was here either. Yeah, I don't know how long it's been here. It's uh, like I said, it's all brand spanking new. So here is the second one. So he said, typically this is pretty dry. Same exact thing, come in. We're not going to cut a new edge. They just want it mulched. There's a ton of grasses through here. There's weeds too. Yeah, a ton of weeds. We'll do our best with the hula hose, get all those taken out. And we're going to run the mulch right to the bottom of the grasses there if we get this uh, job. So same thing out through here. Watch out for the geese poop. Yeah, they were really protective over here. I'm kind of wondering if they got eggs maybe. If you guys don't know, you don't mess with the, the old geese. These guys here, they'll, uh, they'll come after you if they really want to. So me personally, this whole entire thing, I would have liked to seen with rock like this or even maybe that riprap all the way around and then it could have been very low maintenance. And I noticed an area over here, I'll show it to you guys when I was looking earlier with the gentleman. right here so if you take a peek see all that's kind of cutting in there i'm assuming it was probably out there at some point so as it's flowing out of here faster and faster it's going to eat away at this over time now it might not be so bad we have had a record amount of rain it seems like here in the uh you know last three to four days so maybe it's not a big of a deal but same exact thing mulch all the way around there's tons of little plants and stuff in here too I'm not sure how good most of those are gonna do. Same thing here, trees. And then here is probably the worst out of all of it. So nothing on that side of the fence, mainly this side. It's probably about, oh, I'd say 10 feet from the fence line to here. And it goes down at least, I'd say 150 yards. Did you want to go grab the car and just meet me up here? Yeah, my toes are. Okay, so Savannah ran her toe over in the garage with the uh, pallet jack. So I could see she was limping. I told her to go get an x-ray and she's like, nope, there's nothing you can do even if it's broke. So it's probably got a decent fracture. Same thing down through here. This kind of goes down at a slope. And up to this point where the back gate is, I guess you could say. Nothing over by the building right now because this is all brand new. It was just built. So there's nothing really they need done over there as of right now. If you guys are wondering, yes, we are still hiring. I had uh, 
six interviews scheduled for last Tuesday. One person rescheduled, none of the rest showed up. So yeah, it is what it is, I guess. So coming down to here. So I'll point all the way back down there where TQ is getting the car. And then it picks up just on the other side of the gate. Same exact thing. Tons of thistle in here. I mean tons. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. But man, you're talking a lot of weeding. A lot of weeding. Pines. TQ's right here with me. Like I said already, nothing in the inside. Everything's pretty much on the outside with the walking track. And I made a mistake. When we walked it the first time, in the gentleman that I met here that's in charge, I didn't bring my phone. And uh, so I didn't get any of my steps logged. But what I'm gonna do is, they have a track all the way around this place. And I know I've done it now twice. So I'm gonna measure it when I do the element software and I'm getting my steps. So there's a bed up through here. I know it's hard to tell because it's so overgrown but it actually kicks out here. Kind of circles back in and then goes back in. So here and then straight down to where we came up that fence line. There's a few plants up in here and then a little bit out of side the gate there, but we're gonna go ahead and exit. He said just pull up to the gate and he'll have security let it out. This place is nice, isn't it? It's big, yeah. Gigantic. I love that they put the walking track for their employees. Right. I just got done telling them all I got to log those steps. I hear it beeping, so that must be good. <laughs> Clean energy facility. All right, made it on through. Is there anywhere else we need to go? Or? No, the, there's a couple spots right here, just along this wall, but you guys can make it out. Just a couple more areas that need new mulch and uh, cleaned up. So uh, we're gonna bid the mulch right now and then uh, see where that goes and then potentially get the rest so yeah appreciate these guys reaching out to us local company here and uh yeah it's always nice to come out and take a look and see what we can do for them and yeah we got one more to do real quick and we'll be right back all right so this is sean boys baseball field over here it's got quite a bit of water on it and then it's our high school field over there it's got quite a bit of water on it. And there's the river. So we want to send a great big thank you to Mitchell from Iowa and Luke from Ohio for placing your orders. These will be out tomorrow and should get to you within a couple days. And oh yeah, you buy a flex shoot, you get a duck for free. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Disclaimer, you do not get a duck for free right here. Uh, yep. Just kidding. Anyways, these came in right after the big order went out this morning, so we wanted to thank you all as well. If you're interested, you can get your flex shoots at spencerproducts.com. And the Ferris is up and ready to go. On the website. You can check it out at spencerproducts.com.